Hi, I'm Chris from Feather. One of Feather's most valuable features is audience segmentation. Segmentation is the ability to filter your web visitors by certain common activities and attributes, then save those filtered groups into targetable segments. That enables you to tailor your campaign message to the specific interests of those segmented members of your web audience. Today, you'll learn how to create a segment. Creating a segment in Feather is easy. First, filter your audience data based on the activities and attributes you'd like to target, then save that filtered data as a segment. Let's start with a common example, event attendee prospects. First, log in to your Feather account and navigate to Explore. Explore is where your audience data reside. Start building your segment by clicking on Change Filters. Begin by choosing the date range you'd like to apply to your segment. This segment will be broad, so I'm going to set the date range as large as possible by going all the way back to Date of First Activity. That tells Feather to look back as far as it can. Note that there are many other date range options available as well. Next, decide which audience, attributes, or activities will define the segment you'd like to target. We'll define the segment as anyone who has visited the event landing page. To do this, click Add Filter. You'll see a new filter variable appear. Since we're filtering by page visits, I'll choose URL as our variable. Note that there are lots of other options available. In Feather, you can filter by virtually any piece of audience data you collect. When you choose URL, you'll see another set of comparison variables appear. This option allows you to filter using Boolean logic. In this example, we'd like to capture visits specifically to the event landing page, so I'll select Equals. If you wanted to capture the landing page and any of its subpages, you may want to choose Starts With instead. Last. Paste the URL of the event landing page in the value field, then click OK. Now we're looking at the list of all visitors to the event landing page. The last step to turn this list into a targetable segment is to save it. Click Create Segment, name it, and then click Create. That's it! Now your new segment is available to be selected as an audience in a retargeting campaign. If you want to see how to set up a retargeting campaign, then click here to watch it right now. Also, feel free to comment down below and ask any questions you may have about audience segmentation. Thanks again and see you in the next video.